Oh, it's on? Um, okay, so this is my very uh, first presentation, so uh, bear with me. It's probably not going to be that good. I'm Oliver Lodge, otherwise known as Solomon Fury. Um, and I figure I'd start with one that's so, one of my stories is so, uh, prose pieces, I guess you could call it. It's so short that, um, you know, I practically, practically haven't memorized. Uh, it's an early one. I, I wrote, I don't know, something like <clears throat> uh, four years ago, something like that, when I first started um, with my so-called... Um, uh, affirmations uh, what I, is what I call them uh, decadent affirmations um, I was sending them via text to all of my uh, victims who I randomly chose at various AA meetings that I was attending and um, what I do is I go to um, I'd find people get their numbers and I um, told them that I was writing an affirmation a day and if they wanted to receive one on a daily basis, um, all they had to do was give me their number and I'd, I'd text them one. And given that the this is a self-help group, it was AA and I would befriend people, you know, they thought it would be some kind of sort of new age, uh, what is it, the pop psychology kind of um, self-help um, type affirmations. But uh, I wanted to do something different. I uh, started writing a lot of, um, things which were, uh, you know, dealt with things like suicide, death, uh, sexual deviance, um, things that uh, have always uh, been intriguing to me and um, which I thought uh, spoke to the population of AA and NA who struggle with addiction and often have uh, struggled with uh, all kinds of morbid, morbid thoughts and and have actually had experiences uh, of a traumatic nature. Uh, so what I wanted to do was uh, write affirmations that spoke to directly to um, traumatic events. Uh, what people didn't expect was that they would be getting things uh, that uh, dealt with uh, things like murder and, um, you know, grisly, uh, topics that uh, people don't uh, talk about, you know, and if they do, dare, dare they do, it would be behind closed doors, whispered amongst themselves, or in a uh, therapeutic environment like a, um, you know, like a, a shrink's office. So, um, needless to say, some people uh, got it, somebody uh, picked up on the black humor, but most people didn't and uh, actually I had the cops called on me several times for sending these um, quote affirmations unquote to people and they started out rather tame but but uh, slowly I wanted to challenge myself more and more and they, and they got longer and longer and this was one of the first information the affirmations that I sent out uh, I had no title uh, at the time um, now it does. It's called Regina of the Blissful Abyss. And here it is. Oh, you, Regina of the Blissful Abyss, your dark eyes are portals to the infinite. You transform me into a starving wolf, pouncing upon a precious lamb in the winter wilderness. The bitter saliva dripping from between my fangs is tempered by your sweet, glistening entrails which stick to my fur as I burrow deeper inside of you. The moon kills the sun and it melts away behind the jagged glaciers, fragments of night in the form of crows speckle the snowy banks and surround your corpse like a halo. Your exalted resignation and my insatiable thirst for blood culminate in an excruciating ecstasy that eclipses night with day and day with night. 